This is going to be a tutorial how to build my non-village 4.3 stacks of iron tutorial. Um, I'm going to build it block by block and show you how to build it and how to stack the villages properly. Okay, to start out, the farm itself is 77 by 77 blocks. You may notice that these red dots here, that's where the center of each village goes. So find the red dot. From the corners, it's in 21, 21 block 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 blocks. Each corner comes in 21 blocks from the corner. Okay? Between this block and that block and the next block, 18 blocks. of that block. It's also 18 blocks of that block. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 blocks. Each one of these blocks is 18 blocks from each other. And there are 21 blocks from the corner. transport them to here so you can load them into your villages. So to get started, of course, you start with the bed. And of course you could wait tonight, but we're not going to, we're just gonna skip tonight. They'll link to their beds, they'll get in bed. slightly from, from previous villages is we're going to add workstations for each villager. There was concern, some concern that they would delete from their village if they didn't have a workstation. I don't think that's the case, but we're going to do, we're going to do it anyways just to be sure. It doesn't matter what profession they are. So I choose the uh, fletching table just because it's the easiest to work with. Bits 
we have the 32. Let's finish wrapping this up. This part could be stone or dirt or wood or whatever you want it to be. I choose glass because I don't like the golems and the cats that spawn on top of them. If you do do wood, it's gonna the, the, the uh, golems and the cats will spawn up here. It's not a big deal about the cats because they don't affect golem spawns. But the golem spawn up here will be a problem. Okay, now that we have that village, we're going to, it, of course, build towards that direction. So our next village will be right here. Keep our 32 rule. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 30, 31, 32. We want to do that so that our villagers don't link to the first village. We want them to link to the second village that we just created. Oh, second village. Now, we could lock these guys in place before they get up. That wouldn't be an issue. We are, however, going to just skip the night. Because uh, otherwise this tutorial could be two or three hours long. So we're going to skip back to night again.
together. Just bring him in a rail straight across. Don't try to bring him over here close. Bring him straight to where you want him to. The mechanics really are easy. Okay, but you're gonna need to back up. That's the kind of problem you're gonna encounter in survival with the ones running on. If you have to deal with it, I just have to deal with it to show you it can be done. Now, I'm not going to go out and hunt all these beds down. I'm just not. In case you haven't figured it out, the uh, red dots are that's the center of the drop shoots. Corner village centered over those, so that our domes end up in the in the lava the fastest. Of course, we have that done again. It's daylight. We finish one village per night. We're not going to wait through the day, so we're just going to skip back tonight. We're going to create our next village.
only mechanics are broken, they're wrong. The mechanics can be easier. Once again, we have our three villages. And then, of course, you know what happens now. 32 more beds. And, and like, if you're having trouble coming up with the beds, build the first one. Run it. You'll have cats like crazy. You'll have tons of string. These can, beds can be white. I just use red and blue because it's easier for me to keep track of. I mean, this farm almost builds itself. If you build one pod, the only thing you really need is glass and a villager breeder in the nether. It's insanely easy to build. mechanics and that's why I wanted to make this tutorial so that I could show off everyone how easy this is to build that it could be done in survival that the villagers won't delink that I can link it I can stack as many villages as I want and people are lying have you tried making it smaller I did try making it smaller but people said that they were worried about lag so if you spread out more entities over more chunks then you don't have as you don't have the entity problem we have too many entities in one chunk. So I spread them out so that lag would be reduced for lower end devices for people on realms. This could be built on your realm. This could be, you could put, build this with your phone. You can build this on any device you have. I could, I could put these villagers way close. I could build them within three or four blocks of each other. gonna build that now. Well of course I'm gonna build over here in this corner. I'm gonna go this way. Because we're gonna build towards the corner. It's like we're if we were painting if we were mopping the floor, we don't want to mop ourselves into a corner. That's our exit. That's where our villagers come from. We want to build to that corner. So of course we start with the first two beds. Just like always. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 111, 112, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. the important part. It 
doesn't matter what, what profession these guns are. These are just to, to keep them from leaking to another workstation. Like, let's say you have a, a, a base or something over there. We don't want them leaking to your new workstation. The good news is if you're building this in survival, you'll have these golems to walk around and protect you. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, beneath that, the golem spawned right there on the bed. How, how's he gonna fall down? Well, we're gonna take the blocks out from underneath here, and it won't be a solid block anymore, and he won't spawn up there. He spawns on the glass because it's above a solid block. And we're gonna remove that. We're gonna put air underneath it, and then he won't be able to spawn up there anymore. We messed around too long. We talked too much instead of building. We're going back to bed. At this point, if you were in survival, you would have to wait until they go back to bed to finish this. I mean, you could do the, uh, you could do the, uh, 32 beds when these guys are awake. But we're gonna just skip back to night and finish it up. Like I said, I'd want this to be a, a five hour tutorial. for that night because your nighttime building is precious when you're building this if you're on the rim you're gonna just kill everyone don't sleep you're gonna have to figure out something else to do when you build this for let's say i don't know seven eight days probably which is what three four hours it, i mean honestly that's that's not that long when you compare it to like other farms, like Guardian Farms or Blaze Farms, three, three or four hours is nothing. I mean, I should be able to build this thing in an hour, hour and a half tops. I mean, in survival, you can probably build this in four hours if, if you already had the resources gathered. village. I mean, we're halfway done. We're like 20 minutes. Rip. Rip, zombie. We have our workstations. We have our 32 beds. We have all our villagers. It couldn't be simpler. Once again, start like this. you would have a whole world here you could go back but I feel like we're that is the closest village and that's where they'll link to look at that they've linked to the closest village please don't fall off the side villager
sometimes it's getting your bit. they come.
you could spend your days gathering resources. I'm not. I'm not gathering resources. Get back in your bed, buddy. You know where you go. Java. We don't need new with they're worthless. <laughs> like they don't go to bed at night, they go to bed at midnight. New wits are the worst. They get up too late, they go to bed too late. Maybe I'm a nitwit. Maybe that's the problem. also another reason why I recommend killing them. Because they won't claim a workstation. But whatever. We'll have extra workstations in this village. It'll be okay. You can jump up and down on these. It doesn't matter. They won't get out of here. you don't hit them, and you, it's not daytime, they're going to stay there. And then of course, there's two more beds. Like I said, if you're having trouble coming up with beds during the daytime, kill cats. What's wrong with your sword killing them? Like you're trying to mend the beds. It's that easy. Put the first pod, you'll start getting cats everywhere.
Like I said, during the daytime, go gather resources, dig up sand, smelt it, breed villagers, that kind of thing. Kill cats, gather resources. Sorry about that. Oh, how many how many hours I had? Sorry, I had a distraction. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. 30, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. I'm all the way to the sun. I guess 31, 32. there she'll be real easy. Just dump them off right here. Boom. Boom. Look at that. They went to the correct village every time. watching this I don't blame you because it's like it's incredibly boring building this it's that easy it's, it's so easy that it's boring it's boring to build it's probably boring to watch like that's how easy the mechanics are is that they're boring the mechanics are so easy they're boring cats. So many golems, they're just going to start getting in the way. It's fine, we'll kill them later. Get you too, zombie. Get out of here, buddy. Of course, the, of course that netwest won't, won't claim my conversation, but what are you doing? Golems, man, what are you guys doing? Kill these zombies. Kill you. 
buddy. Get on out of here. Oh, I want them all the time to kill you, kid. Oh, you stupid cat. Where's the sword? Stand over there by the glass. We don't want that. We want them to link to this village. turned off mob spawning. I want to be realistic though. I want to do the day and night cycle. I want to do mob spawning. I just don't want to wait during the daytime. There's no need for me to wait because I'm not gathering resources. under one hour to build this and creative, which translates to about three to four hours in survival, assuming you have all the resources gathered. So, I don't know. 
six hours if you if you have to gather the resources. I'm not even gonna pretend that I don't have any beds or in it. Maybe we can do the math. Nine times forty-two. So somebody do the math for me real quick. successful as villages. Tweak to village mechanics I would ask for. It's, it's less cats. We don't need them. We're here on our last village. I'm not gonna count it out this time. I'm just not. I'm done with the count. Oh, a nitwit. I hate you, nitwit. Get in bed. Go. Act like you're a normal person. or whatever because uh, you don't want this you don't want zombies killing all your villagers well, like I said once you get a few villages into it it's not a big deal because the, uh, the golems are everywhere now I mean you can see they're this place is very secure now
man. Man, why are you trying to get in on this? What's going on with my life? Gollums, what are you do your job, man? Are, aren't don't cats scare creepers anymore? What's What's going on here, guys? Creepers just get a pass. And skeletons and zombies, no way, but creepers, yeah. Not true. I thought creepers were scared off by cats. I mean, this is freaking Cat Island here. Maybe it's only tamed cats. I don't remember. I'm not gonna tame any of these cats. I want them all to die. Everyone's gonna. Is that easy? This is done stacking. We're done here. You, you could destroy this if you wanted to. Leave it. Destroy it. Whatever you want to do about it. I'm going to use commands to dig the rest of this out. Let's see. Let's say, I don't know, 77. Let's say minus, I don't know, 3. Whoops. Minus 3. that with air. Look at that. Oh, we didn't make it big enough. What do I do? What's going on here with my life?
Okay, now I'm going to re-record this part because I'll be honest, I made a hot mess of it. So I'm going to record this with the mob spawning off just to make it simpler because when you're trying to place the water buckets, all the golems, all the cats, it's beyond ridiculous. <clears throat> so the first thing you're going to need to do is make a glass block wall all the way around. Now that we have that done, let's get the blocks we'll need for this. We'll need glass, of course. We'll need half slabs. Um, you don't, this part's not necessary, but I'm going to do it anyway. It's just to mark it so you can see what I'm doing. And, of course, you'll need water buckets. And that's it. I'm going to mark in red where the, where the lava shoots go. And then from the lava shoot, you're going to go eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's where that goes. And then you're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you're going to have a three by three lava shoot again. You're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Lava shoot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then lava shoot. Obviously, you can tell that I marked this wrong when I built this the first time, which is why I'm re-recording this part, which you can notice that I turned down the music, I turned down the effects. I'm sorry about that. I didn't realize it was so loud. I'm not going back and recording it. Too bad. But you can tell, you can see where I miscounted right here. It was, it just was a hot mess. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Six, seven, three by three lava shoot. It's that easy. Now let's do this on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven lava shoot. Notice I marked the red lava shoots with the center block. And you're about to see my second mistake. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't know what happened there and over there. Apparently, I just, I just can't count. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three by three lava shoot. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Three by three lava shoot. Okay, now that we have two sides marked, it's really as simple as just. going across with them.
everything about this farm is designed to be easy. If you can count, you can follow the rules. It's very easy to build. If you can't count like me, well, you're going to have problems. This part right here, where it's dirt, that can be made out of any solid block. It can be grass, it can be dirt, it can be stone, it can be cobblestone, it can be ice. Ice doesn't provide a benefit though, because iron golems don't respond to that. So, if you do it out of ice, you're just wasting your resources. And once again, I did this with commands. I dug this part out with commands. If you didn't survival, you have to dig it out. Sorry. And this part right here is kind of tedious, but there's nothing no way around it. Just you just have to do it. Okay, now that we have that finished, hit every intersection like this. You'll see why in just a second. If you do this in survival, it's going to make you crazy because there's going to be so many cats, there's going to be so many iron domes, they're going to be in your way, it's going to make you crazy. You're going to say like terrible, terrible things about me. That's why I'm re-recording it. I mean, nobody wants to hear a, a 20 minute rant about how I hate cats. That's not good for me, it's not good for you. survival this part will be tedious I suggest you make an infinite water supply somewhere get a lot of buckets I mean if you killed all the iron golems you'll have plenty of iron so if you've been killing them all along to get them out of your way you'll have iron for buckets <clears throat> there 
harvest farm makes the string for the beds and it makes the iron for the buckets. Not to mention that wool and string can be used in a furnace to melt the glass if you're uh, needing fuel for your furnaces that is. These are just uh, helpful suggestions. I'll make this world available for download. I'll put a link in the description. That way if you get confused about how many blocks this, how many blocks that, you can you can reference it. Could I have made this platform smaller? Yes, I probably could have made it smaller. But as a golem can spawn out eight blocks, I would put it out here somewhere, and I don't want to miss any spawns. I want to get the maximum rate. The potential for this farm is 288 ingots per hour, 32 per village, per hour. This farm gets 277, which is 90 per six, 96 percent of uh, total available ingots. So. If you make your platform too small, you're going to miss spawns, and your rates are going to go down. Okay. Well, that's finished. Come back, put a little water right here on each one of these. Each one of these dirt spots will be a drop shoot. That your that your iron golems that your cats can be swept into. Now I'm going to show you how to make the lava blade trap. What you'll need is glass. You'll need a sign. You'll need lava. You'll need a chest. You'll need a hopper. And last but not least, you will need a half slab. Any kind of half slab will do. Now this is the layer for the lava, this is the layer for the sign, one below that, one below that.
it's that easy. You're like, how do I check it? You just check it right there. Whoops.